So when they hear this, it says they go out and they build the booths like it hadn't been built since Joshua's day. And there's great gladness, the text says in verse 17. And there was very great gladness. Well, that's, that's refreshing because usually we hear God's law and his rules and he tells us how to live and somebody starts talking like that and we pull out the L word, legalist. What do you mean you're doing this, this, and this? Because God said so. Because my faith is in God to look out for what's good for me. If we would get it through our head by faith that God wants us to be joyful, then obedience would be a willing step. But quite frankly, we've believed the lie that has been used since the Garden of Eden. God's not out for your best interest. He's keeping back from you and says he said, so he says, don't touch this tree. God's keeping something from you. And if we're not careful, we'll believe that. And we'll think that strict obedience must be legalism. I'm trying to get to joy. Joy is found in living right. And the Old Testament people were thick. And so God told Moses, make it real clear to them. Behold, this day I set before you a blessing. Things that you like, things that would be good for you, would be joyful and a curse. Things that would be bad for you. And God gives them language like thorns in your eyes, just in case you're trying to think of what a curse would be like. Good and bad. Ultimately, life and death. And he says, choose. Choose life. Choose God. Believe that he's out for your good. Understand that obedience brings blessing. Disobedience brings cursing. Have we not wrestled with this as parents? We want to teach our kids that obedience brings blessing, but there's only so many cookies in the cabinet. So it can't always be, okay, you get the cookie if you do something good, or M&Ms if you say your verse, or you, know, you lose your treat if you disobey. But what, at least we're trying to communicate what God tries to communicate to us. I've laid out my law, God says. Walk in it to be joyful. The New Testament tells us God's commandments are not grievous, which if we invert that, God's commands are joyful. Obey God this week and find joy. There was joy in obedience. They kept the law. They observed what God had told them to do, and it produced joy.